Hard work in the next clip, you're gonna learn about the secret paint removal product that there's a fair chance you actually already own. Here's Alex from Frog Lane Studios to explain. Thanks very much, Guy. So in this short video, I'd just like to talk about paint eraser. Run VT. Hi, I'm Mr. Frog. Remember Midwinter Mini's medium for thinning paints? Well, introducing Frog Lane Studios Paint Eraser. I'd spend hours trying to get paint off models, but with this it's a breeze. Just look at this dirty bolter. Simply drop, dab, wipe away. Amazing! Soap scum, whoosh, lime scum, whoosh, grime whoosh, and rust. Paint eraser. It beats all kinds of daily paint. Now I use one cleaner, not ten. Frog Lane Studios paint eraser. Dab and the paint is gone. Thanks Mr. Frog. So what exactly is paint eraser and what can we do with it? Well, the big reveal is nothing miraculous. In fact, you've probably already got it in your hobby supplies. It's quite simply airbrush cleaner. Now, I know, I know, but what if I told you that you weren't using it to your full potential? You see, we all make mistakes, and you'd be lying if you said you didn't. But then all of us are just painting over those mistakes with more paint, adding layers and layers on top that we don't necessarily need to. And what this stuff does simply is just strips the top layer of the paint off without actually affecting the layers underneath it. Let me give you some examples. Now for this step, all you're gonna to need to do is just drop the airbrush cleaner onto the cotton bud. You're not gonna to want too much. This clip comes from a commission that I'm currently doing, an Empress Spear McFarlane miniature. Now, I made a mistake when plotting out the trident on the helmet. One of the tips was wonky, so all I did was simply with the airbrush eraser, very gently rub it over the top, and you can see it just straight up removes that red from the white. You're left with the pure white underneath it, and the end result has removed all of that red, which gives me a nice, smooth white surface to go back over and correct my mistake. As you can see this time, both sides are so much more even. This next one's a really neat little trick for weathering. Rather than having to paint the weathering over the top of your model, what you can actually do is use the airbrush thinner to remove the paint and show the metal underneath it. So with this lens on the bolter, what's actually going on is I'm removing the paint and showing the bare metal underneath, which is a much more realistic finish. So the possibilities here are truly endless. Of course, you can use it for standard airbrush overspill, but there's so many more applications out there. I'd be really interested to see what you guys come up with. Thank you so much, Guy. Back to you. Good to know, good to know. Thanks, Alex. And don't forget, if you want to find absolutely any of these channels, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much, Guy, for being featured. And thanks to you guys for watching and all of your kind comments as well in that video. There were quite a few people who were asking about whether you can use airbrush cleaner to completely strip paint off models. Now, if you are wanting to use this, the airbrush cleaner might not necessarily be your best bet, but what you can use instead is either mineral or white spirits for the metal models, and then either Dettol or Biostrip for plastic. All you're going to want to do is put that liquid in a jam jar, leave it for a couple of hours with the model inside, and then using an old toothbrush, just clean that paint away leaving the model fresh and shiny and ready to use. There we go then, guys. Thank you so much to Guy for being featured. Thanks to you guys for watching as well. Stay safe, keep hobbying, and may your pots of paint never run out. Mm -hmm.